Hey, Cowboys Nation, man, what they do, man? It's be your boy Stank. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. How y'all feeling, man? I hope y'all feeling better. We was all down last week, man. We took an L um, against the Arizona Cardinals, man. A loss that we weren't looking forward to, especially against the Arizona Cardinals. So I know a lot of our, uh, us Cowboys fans was feeling it. But, man, I hope we move forward um, on to the next week, week four. We facing the New England Patriots, man, a um, tough task for us. I feel like this is the toughest task so far for us. Um, I know we faced a lot of good teams um, so far. Arizona was better than what we thought. A lot of people thought, man, we was the 13 and a half point favorite against Arizona, and they defeated us head-to-head. -head. Um, but, man, week four, I'm moving forward. I expect great things from my Cowboys, man, going forward, man. I hope I have, I hope I ha never have to experience what I experienced last week against Arizona. And I ain't just talking about a loss. I'm talking about like, man, just overall, man. It was a tough, it was just tough to see as a fan, man. Penalties, defensive line getting dominated, offensive line getting dominated, can't score in the red zone, man. Just, as a team, man, just it looked it horrible, man. It it looked it bad. Um, as a fan to see, man, um, just against a team that no one expected to be even make it to the playoff, receive a top five draft pick, a team that we facing that people expect to receive a top five draft pick in 2024 draft, man. And um, we looked it bad against them, man. They dominated us, man. And I wasn't expecting that. But we moving forward, like I said, man. I expect a better week than last week, man. We face the New England Patriots. And as we all know, this man right here coming back to town, Zeke Elliott. I wore his jersey today, man, to pay homage to the man, man. Hey, man, great running back. He did so much for the Cowboys organization, man. I'm looking forward to facing him, man. I, I don't. Man, I can't say nothing but great things about Zeke, man. The man did so much for us, man. And as a fan, I salute him, man. I wish him nothing but the best going forward. I have nothing bad to say about the man. Great running back, man. And like I said, I'm looking forward to a great game against him. You know he coming back to Dallas, so you know he going to try to show off. So defense, we got to be looking forward to it, man. You know the man going to try to show off in front of that crowd. He coming back to Dallas where it all started. We got to be up for the task. Linebackers, we got to be up the par. We got we to gotta hit them gaps. We, we got to shoot them gaps, linebackers. We can't be bullshitting around. Van Der Rage, Clark, Bell, y'all boys got to shoot them gaps because they will run the football against us. Belichick have no problem in running the football. So expect, expect Zeke to touch that ball, man. Um, next thing, man, we got to do better as a, as, as, ho as, a, as a whole, man. We got to do better. Defense, offense, man, the team that we saw in the first two weeks, we did not see last week versus the Arizona Cardinals, man. We looked at bad, man. We looked at loss on defense. We looked at loss on offense. The bright, the only bright side we had last week was Tony Pollard running the football, man. And you know Gallup, you know he did his thing. But other than that, other than that, man, we looked at horrible, man, against the Arizona team, man. I don't want to see that this week, man. I'm I'm praying we don't play like that this week, man. Penalties, offensive line, defensive line, secondary, man. We just looked at bad, bro. And I'm expecting better this week, man. Um. And speaking of our offensive line, um, I don't know so far. I don't know so far. We in Wednesday today. Wednesday, they still don't have no really no information on whether the three offensive line that was out last week, Tyrone, Zach, um, Tyler, if they're gonna play. I hope they play because it really showed last week, man. It really showed in the game that they was out. I don't know how we had success on the ground with three three of our starting offensive line out, but we did. 
But in the passing game, it really showed that we were without three starters. So hopefully we can get them three boys back. If we can get them back, I feel feel good about that, man. It'll be a you know a good sign for us. It's a bright sign. But we need to get them back. And also, man, we need to run the football this week. We have to run the football. We did good last week versus Arizona. You know, but we we we, we know we'll have a better test this week. Um I want us to give um, Tony Potter that ball, even if we got to get him the ball 35 times this week. You know, him him and on um, dog. You feel me? Get them boys the ball. But I also want to see Hunter Lipke touch the football. Hunter Lipke got to touch the football, along with Rico and Tony. I want to see all of them touch the football, but I mostly want to see Hunter Lipke touch the football in the red zone. As everybody know, the whole Cowboy organization know, man, we've been struggling in the red zone. This is the week that I have to stop, man. We're going up against New England, and they're not very good in red zone defense. They're not very good in red zone defense. We're not very good in red zone offense. But I know, I know what's keeping us, holding us back, man. It ain't, and a lot of people say it's the play calling. I don't think it's more so of the play calling, man. I think it's more um, so of execution. We not really just, we not executing the plays. That's what it is. The play calling is good. The play calling is good. I feel like the play calling is like kind of, you know, it's good. He mixing in the run. He mixing in the pass, motion. He doing a lot of different things. But it also started with Dak Prescott. And Dak Prescott not doing horrible in the red zone besides the interception he threw last week. You feel me? But that was more so of trying to make something happen with the football. You know, he really had nowhere really to go in the, in the red zone. He shouldn't have threw it. He should have probably ran or just, you know, threw the ball away or whatever like that. But, man, he tried to make something happen. We were down two possessions. So I understood it. I don't understand it, but I understood what he was trying to do. He was trying to make something happen. But... We have to use Hunter Lipke more in the red zone. We have to draw plays for Hunter Lipke. The man, every time the man touched the ball, the man makes something happen with the football. He makes something happen with the football. I don't know if y'all noticed. Every time he get his hand on the ball, it become a positive play. We got to put him in the game plan. You feel what I'm saying? I like Rico. I like Tony. But they not let making it happen in the red zone, in the run game. You feel me? They not big like that. You feel me? They not big running backs. Where like we had Zeke 230 pounds. You feel me? You use this strength. You know, Tony's strong. But when it come down to red zone, you know, when it come down to red zone offense running, it's different. You know, you got to be very, very physical. And that's what we missed from Zeke. You know, Zeke was very, very good in the red zone. You feel what I'm saying? But, man, I feel like Hunter Lipke can bring that power and strength and physicalness that we need in the red zone. We got to use them more, y'all. Hey, New England have some good, a good secondary. They have two good corners. And then they got, we got a familiar face in the slot. I don't know if they really move him around, know how they use him. But we got Mills. Y'all familiar with Mills? Mills played for the Philadelphia Eagles. We familiar with him. We tortured him a lot, but we familiar. He familiar with us. We familiar with him. But they got a rookie, Gonzalez. He off to a good start, good corner. You know, and they got Jones. Questionable. We don't really know if he's gonna play. But if he do, they have a good cornerback. Um depth. They got a good cornerback, you know, crew. Um safety. You got Jabril Peppers. We familiar with him. We also familiar with him. You know, he would play for the New York Giants, so he familiar with us. We familiar with him. You feel me? And they got the dude, um, I forgot the dude's name, start with a D. But they also got him. Solid safety. He had a great year last year. You feel what I'm saying? So, and that brings me to say, man, our receivers have to do better in getting open, man. Y'all got to help Dak Prescott out a little bit, man. We have to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. I watch Arizona getting a lot of man coverage against us, being physical with our receivers and our receivers jogging. Michael Gallup, you got to run through your, you, Michael Gallup got to run through his, his routes, man, not just jog on the route of uh, plays that you know the ball ain't coming to. You have to run, bro. Every route, make it look like you receiving the ball. 
Don't make it obvious for team. Receiver have to do better. CD off to a great start. But we cannot lose one-on-one -on -one matchups against mediocre corners. And we did that against Arizona. So we and we playing against better corners this week. So it's gonna be a tough man, it's gonna be tough, bro. We gotta win one-on-one -on -one matchups. Our corners, our, our receivers looked it, man, like they wasn't even ready to play last week. Y'all struggling against mediocre corners. We gotta do better. If we're gonna win this game this week versus New England, man, we have to win. Cause they're gonna be physical. Belichick going to make sure the boys is physical against the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to make us earn every single thing that we want. I'm telling y'all. And they're going to make it tough for Dak to find a receiver. Like, Arizona did it. And if you think teams don't look at film and go look at what the previous team did to you to win, y'all got another thing coming, man, because they will look at film. You feel what I'm saying? But, man, we, we, we got to get open. Oh, on the defensive standpoint, I still got faith in our D-line. We have a great D-line. We didn't do so good last week, but we have a great D-line. And I feel like our, our D-line, you know, we still going to make something happen. You feel me? But I have area of concern that corner. Bland did struggle last week. Bland struggled. <laughs> Believe it or not, he struggled. A lot of people was praising Bland. Because they felt, oh, Bland did this. He had five picks as a rookie and all this, but he struggled. Brown was really, you know, doing a lot of things. Wilson, the boys had that voice kind of shaky over there, man. So, um, anxious to see how he do going forward because we up to, you know, we play, we facing another uh, good receiver core. You feel me? They got um, they got a good lot of straight receivers. Over there in New England, man. You know, you got Parker. You got, um, and also, they got good tight ends. You know, you get, got Gasicki, Hunter. They got Juju Smith. So, they got a lot of playmakers on that team, man, that we got to look forward to. And the secondary have to do better. We got to do better than what we did last week, man. We want to win this game against New England. Because if you think coming in this game is going to be easy, looking at a one and two record, so, Man, you got another thing coming because we thought that same thing against Arizona, 0-2. And y'all seen what happened. We can't go in this game bullshit, Cowboys, man. We got to go in there and play Cowboys football, be aggressive, win the game. Skull in the red zone. We got to put the football in the end zone in the red zone, Cowboys, man. We got to do it. We can't settle for three. We can't just, nah, man, we got to put the ball in the end zone. That's the only way we can win. You feel me? But, like I said, man, I hope we get healthy this week. Um, I hope we get most of shit. If not all three, I hope we get most of our damn offensive line back. Because, boy, 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 we we didn't look too good, boy, on the offensive line. We struggled. But, man, like I said, man, I'm looking, for a bounce, I'm looking forward to a bounce back week. Um, Zeke will be in town. I'm rocking this jersey, man, to pay homage, man. Salute to that boy. I'm looking forward, forward to a bounce back week. I'm looking forward to our offense doing better. I'm looking forward to our defense doing better. Use Hunter Lipke in the red zone. Use Hunter Lipke in the red zone. We have to use a big body in the red zone. You, you feel what I'm saying? And Ferg. Ferg got to do better. I tight end Ferg. Because I had a lot of high hope for him. And so far, you know, he showed bright sides, certain plays. But I want to see him more consistent. More consistent. And before I go, man, I want to talk about Cooks, man. I don't know what's going on with Cooks. But we got to get Cooks more involved. The man is a playmaker. We got to get Turpin more involved, Cowboy Nation. We got to get these playmakers more involved. Why is Cooks not more involved in the game plan? I want him to receive the ball more. He's a cornerback nightmare. And like I said, this should be the week that we get um, Cooks involved. We're going up against, against uh, a familiar face, Mills. We torture him every time we play against Mills. We torture him. So we got to look, um, look for Cooks this week. 
I want to see Cooks more involved in the game plan this week, man. And boy, we can we got to eliminate penalties. Penalties killed us last week, man. From now we have 15 penalties last week in week last week game. Every time we did a big had a big play, it seemed like we had a penalty right after. Just wipe away everything we did, man. We got to play better football. You know, eliminate the penalties. Wide receivers get open. Hopefully we get help there at O-line, man. I'm looking forward to a great week, man. Uh, and that's all I got for y'all, Cowboys Nation, man. Uh, I know y'all going to be watching the game. Zeke back in town, man. We looking forward to slowing him down because y'all know he going to be looking forward to having a great, gate, um, great day against us. And we looking, we looking forward to spoiling it. But, man, that's all for me, man. I'm finna get up out of here, Cowboy Nation, man. Y'all already know we up. Bounce back week. Play better, Cowboy Nation, man. And I'm out.